Hey guys, um, I am in the Guadalupe Mountains right now in Texas. Beautiful desert, uh, mountains, cactuses, beautiful birds. Um, I wanted to show you my setup for this trip because I'm testing out a new tent um, and a slightly different sleep system. So I wanted to go over what that looks like and what I think of it. Um, but yeah, also look at these mountains. They don't look that high, but it's also April, almost May. I think it's April 29th today. It's pretty really cold. Where am I, Puffy? Let's just get to it. I am sleeping in a single person quarter dome from REI Co-op. Uh, it runs about $300, like $2.99 I think. Um, but yeah, this is what it kind of looks like. It's got the vents. So you have three attachment points here on like a little clip, as you can see. One, two, that's my friend's tent. And then three. And then you have these guys staking into the ground. But yeah, um, one vent, three attachment points, a bunch of stakes, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven um, into the ground. Let's go ahead and go inside. You have some space for a backpack here. Um, it is uh, one pound and 18 ounces, I believe. But you can see here, well, this much space for a backpack pretty deep um so yeah you do have a really good amount of space here for a little porch and then open the, this guy up here and here we have inside the tent you can see i have my vent open i am 5'4 i barely need this entire marmot uh sleeping bag definitely a six foot person could fit in here I throw my backpack inside my tent at the end because I'm really short, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but you can really do whatever you want. You can see you have some space on the other side, so if it's raining, you know, you're not going to get rained out. But yeah, this is what it looks like on the inside. So I am 5'4". This is the tallest point here. I have a few inches left, maybe like three or four. I'm fully sitting up as you can see. So if you're a little bit tall, like over six, six feet, then you may have trouble sitting fully up. Um, but I don't have very many issues with that. All right. It is actually one pound, 15 ounces, um, which is pretty light. Um, I think it is considered an ultralight. It is super thin. You do need a footprint for this guy um, because it is really thin and you don't want to rip your tent apart. Um, so I definitely highly recommend getting a nice footprint for this guy. Something that I do like about this tent is that it has pockets up here. Um, really appreciate that. Also has pockets on the side here. Also the other side, as you can see. Um, really cool feature. I had a tent one time that was a two-person tent, didn't have any pockets. I think that's a really dumb design um, and it was like a $350 tent. So I expect some pockets in there. You can also hang a lantern or something here and here. Also right there. So you have three points, I'm pretty sure. Or actually, no, you have five. One here and one here. Another really cool thing about this tent is that it takes minimal time to set up, probably like 10 minutes or less. Really easy to do it by yourself. So if you are solo camping, you don't really need anybody. Tear down is really easy too. Um, and there's enough stakes and there's extra stakes and stuff, but, and it actually packs down way smaller than like the original packaging that they give you. So I end up putting my entire sleeping mat in there, my Clement. Um, and then I put that on the bottom of my bag. So, packs them pretty small, really light. Uh, my only complaint, and my co it's my complaint about most one-person tents, is that it doesn't have two doors. And I wish that they would design a tent with two doors because if you're in really hard, con if you're in really harsh conditions, it's raining and snowing, and you need to fix something on your tent, or you want to ease out, or I don't know. I just I like the idea of having two entrances. 
um, but most one person tents don't really have that. Um, but that is just like my own personal type of thing. And then I think my other biggest complaint about this tent is that it doesn't have a privacy screen. It's just full mesh, which in for some people doesn't matter. But for me, I change in my tent, you know, like I just, I kind of prefer the privacy screen. Um, it's nice though, because your tent won't turn into a sail in windy weather if you have to fly off. If you don't have the privacy screen, the wind just goes straight through the mesh. So it really is dependent on what you want. So let's get started with my sleeping system. Um, I use the Static V Recon um, by Clement. Um, I've been using this mat since 2017, so it's four years now. I had a little issue with it. It leaked down here, but I fixed it. Actually, my partner fixed it. You can see that I'm having no problems. It's not deflating in the middle of the night. I am a side sleeper, um, so this really helps me actually get a comfortable sleep. I used to only sleep on the thermal rest, um, just like just on this guy in the summertime. And it was really hard for me to get a good night's rest because my hip flexors and my knees would not be happy in the morning um, since I do sleep on my side. So now, even in the summertime, to get that maximum comfort, I use this Clement and the thermal rest. Um, this has a R value of two, I believe. This one's a 1 1.6, so it's not super warm. If it, if it is really hot, like we were in the desert yesterday um, and like the high was like 106 or something, I just flip this guy over and it's going to make me less hot, basically. Um, but I love the Thermarest. It's a classic piece that I take pretty much everywhere. I'll take it to even the beach to sit on. Super easy to clean. I mean, it folds up really nicely. Um, I really like the Clement. The Clement runs about, I think, I think I bought it for like 60, 70 bucks. So it's a super cheap starter mat. I do not recommend it for the winter time. The R value is not high enough for that. Um, but if you combine it with something else that has a high, high R value, you should be fine. Um, but yeah, I combine these. It gives me like an average of a 3.5 uh, R value, which is more than good enough for the summertime. For my sleeping bag, I have a Marmot Trestles 15 degree bag. Um, here is the rating the low ratings um it is the women's bag so it's a little bit shorter than the regular um marmot um they do make it in men's um men's long women's long i think um it's a pretty sweet bag i use it all year round um i don't typically go into super cold climate so i don't really need a zero degree bag um it has like a little pocket here for your phone which i barely use um i used to store my watch in here like but i i usually toss and turn a bit so then it's like this is like below me. So then I have like something hard, like underneath like my chest and stuff. So I don't really like using that as much, but it's a little cool little feature if, if you're not like me. So the left side or like your right sleeping side zips like kind of to your chest. And then the other side zips all the way to the foot box. So it's really nice, even in the summer. Um, I'll sleep with it open or just like kind of as a quilt type thing if I'm really hot. The foot box is insulated. It does help. Um, my one concern about the foot box though is that I am short and my feet barely hit the foot box. So you can kind of see where they sewn in like that extra material here. I think it's like this whole section that's supposed to have the foot box. <laughs> um, but like I said, my feet barely hit this. So I usually have to like hike it up to my feet um, so I would get a short version if I had to buy it again, um, just so that it fits me a little bit better. So that's something to consider, definitely. As for my pillow, I usually either use my puffy to sleep on or I use one of these pillows. I bought this on Amazon a really long time ago, like 2016, so five years ago. It was like 15 bucks. Um, a lot of people argue for the inflatables, but I personally don't like the inflatables because they'll deflate over time. I just kind of suck it up, put this in like the brain of my bag or on top of the brain and it doesn't really it i'm i just think that your sleep is the most important thing about your backpacking trip or camping trip or whatever you're doing so having a nice pillow that actually is supportive i think that uh is the most important thing definitely also staying warm and all that i think my biggest complaint about my sleeping bag that it doesn't really compact down as much as i would like it to 
So I am looking at other options for the future, uh, potentially a zero degree quilt or bag. Um, it is a mummy, I love that. It has enough room for me to sleep sideways and kind of spread out a bit. Um, but yeah, it doesn't really compact as much as I'd like it to. So if you're into like ultralight backpacking, I don't think it's the bag for you. Um, but for someone who's like casual and or starting out, it's a great bag. I think it's priced at like 170 new. Um, you can catch it on sale or you can catch it used for much, much cheaper. Um, it's a great bag though. I love it. Um, as for my mats, I have zero complaints for like three season usage um, for winter use. I definitely have a different system um, because it's not high enough of an R value and I get really cold at night really easily, um, but like literally zero complaints. I love my setup. Oh, that's it pretty much. That's my setup. Um, I will link everything down below if they still have it online. Um, yeah, check it out and I'll see you guys next time.